cheek and smile, guys. By now, everybody should know that Debbie and I are big foodies. Anything I said prior to the food is not me, okay? Okay, guys? Okay. So, um, there's no going around that. The food smells really good in the studio right now. And I'm sure it also looks good on your TV screens. But before we get into the meat, of the matter. Chef Kimani Castle and manager Raheem Allen from Runners Restaurant are here to tell us some more about this hot spot. Welcome to Week and Smile, gentlemen. Thank okay. you. First of all, who put the pork beside the rest? Who did that? Who did that? Uh, that was not intentional. <laughs> <laughs> Make it stay. <laughs> all right, uh, talk to me, Raheem, about the restaurant. Whose idea was it? What was the thought that came to mind initially? Actually, the idea of it came about randomly in the middle of the night yeah in my cousin we were talking and we were like we need a venture and then i know she's a good chef she's mm -hmm. a great chef just because um she'd been doing the cooking for a while so i said why not a restaurant mm -hmm. and she was like where and i just took out my phone i don't remember what site i went on looking for a place to rent and the first place pop up was that location by Caribbean Estate. Mm -hmm. And we were like, um, call him in the morning because it's kind of late. And she said, no, we'll call him now. Right now, uh, we'll, jump on it. We'll call him in the middle of the night. We got them and we just rented the place and That's that was it. That's where the idea started. But there yeah. are lots of restaurants around um, Kingston and St. Catherine. Why decide to take the chance with this one? Weren't you afraid that maybe this might not be as successful as I think it might be because there are so many other options available or you know that what you're going to offer was going to be such a standout that nobody could even turn away from coming to your restaurant. First of all, when going in business it's about risk. True. I'm the greatest risk taker. Not I, I don't think about the obstacles and all of that. So I, I never think about the negative mm -hmm. that it might not work because when you come with that energy, you will get Already that Already bound result. to fail, that's yeah, true, that's so. true. So you're the business mind behind the business. Yeah. The business and she's the, the chef part of it, the food part of it. Yeah. Yeah. When going about uh, putting a menu together, how do you choose what it is that you're going to be offering? I lay all of that on her. <laughs> so there's nothing that you like in particular, yeah, no dish I that like, you love? I tell her just do it because um, she never cooked anything that I don't like. So you know, like nothing for the menu special. We say I have to get this for the menu because this is my favorite food. Shrimp pasta. Shrimp pasta. Shrimp pasta. It might not be a fussy food because I'm not fussy. <laughs> yeah, the shrimp pasta. Yeah, the shrimp pasta. Love it. So oh, and, the, and the, the goat. Alrighty. The goat. <laughs> so your specialty is uh, seafood and jerk, chef. Talk to me now about how you go about preparing your how go, you go about preparing your dishes to make them stand out from everybody else's. Well, um, first we got um, the barbecue ribs. Mm -hmm. I see you. Yeah, I see you. It has to be sauteed and, you know, put in a little bit of barbecue sauce and with the pineapple juice. Mm -hmm. well, well, we usually freshly um, blend it. So they blend the pineapples, get the flavor. Oh, real pineapple juice. Yeah. I like that. I like that. Get the flavor. Mm -hmm. And this one here is the lobster. The, well, the seafood twist. Oh, it's more than, oh, it's more than one. Yes, you got the lobster. The fish fillet, shrimp, and you still got lobster meat right here so in the sauce. So this one is what? Fried and then this one is what? This, it's just in the sauce, normal sauce. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then normal. this one is salmon over here? Yeah, sweet chili salmon in with pineapple. Um, how long have you been a chef? Two years. Two years? Yes. And what was that training like? How do you know what pairs well with what? Well, what goes well with what? Yeah. Well, since I'm working at Relish, my boss, she taught me well, I ain't go, not gonna lie about that. She taught me well. She stick with me to make sure I say, yo, you get this, you have to That's get this done. That's yeah. because I help out in the kitchen too. Yes. Yeah, yeah, right, man. Sound bad. <laughs> what is that one meal that everybody's just always asking for? The one thing that they come back for all the time, the word of mouth dish that gets you a lot of customers? Well, I would point out two things. Mm -hmm. On the done to order side, the seafood boil. Ah. But the everyday walk in, walk out, the goat. Curry goat. Yeah. The goat is the goat. <laughs> <laughs> what are some other dishes that you have on the menu? We see you have all this here. You mentioned the goat. What else you have offering? You do the pasta too as well, right? Yeah, we do the pasta. Mm -hmm. So um, we, our menu changes daily. We might have stew peas. We'll put on a little baby back ribs. Conk, even though conk is done to order, sometimes we have it on the walk-in menu. Mm -hmm. 
you know, of course, oxtail, fried Jamaican chicken now staples, and then. Right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And as its name is, relish jerk and seafood, so we have jerk, chicken, jerk, pork every day, and we have a barbie jerk. And we have a bar yeah, barbie jerk chicken, never had that. No, 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 no. What has the response been from, you know, residents in Portmore and even persons who come out of town to come try the food? Because I'm sure you have out of towners coming as well. Yeah, all right. For the out of towners, they're requesting a branch in Kingston so badly. Just That's me, a good thing. Been, yeah, That's a good problem that. to have thinking about it. We've been getting, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thinking. thinking How long you opened this? How long since the restaurant has been opened? Two years. Two years. February gone makes two years. And the thing is, as we opened February 2020, we got hit with the pandemic. Ooh. Right, right. How did that right affect there. you? You were in the takeout business? It was good. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Not a lot of people said that COVID was good. All right, I'll take your word for Trust a lot me. of takeouts. Trust me, it mm. was good because when they came on with the program ends. Mm -hmm. We were right on it, so we were able to open during the pandemic and do some deliveries. You know, it, no dining in, but right. trust me, I could not say it was bad. Okay, so so now that business is open and persons can come in, talk to me about the atmosphere. What makes a uh, relish like you know a standout? All right, everybody's gonna say, oh, our place is different, this and that. But first and foremost is the workers that greet you that can change your whole mood. Mm -hmm. And when you have that good customer service, you'll feel comfortable and the food tastes good, the ambience is nice and... Oh, the prices, or oh, the prices there. Debbie, Debbie, mm -hmm. come and feel like you want something now. How are the prices? Very competitive compared to escalation in these times. Because... I will not say we're the cheapest or none of that because I've never go around checking other people's price, but it's very reasonable. But you know what? If the food is good, we'll pay the price. Yes. I feel like as long as it's yes. worth it, it's quality, I'm oh, going to pay for it. It's worthy and worth it. No lie. <laughs> you want to be over by the salmon so bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it smells really, really good, honestly. Okay, so where can we find you online? Tell us. Instagram at relish.ja. Okay. Okay. Right. Same thing on Facebook. And what are your opening hours? My phone. Opening hours. So we serve breakfast. Mm -hmm. So 7 till 10 during the week. On the weekends, we close 12 a.m. Okay. All right. All right. Enough yeah. time not to eat on the whole place. Look yes. Yes. Oh, My time. Cold at a time. Anybody got a fork? <laughs> we do have fork for you guys. <laughs> Chef, what if I have a special request? You can do that for me? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, sure. Oh, Lord. Anyways, guys, the food <laughs> looks amazing and delicious, so we're going to dive into it. We will go to the break. Thank you, guys, for coming along and giving us this good food, all right? Thank you for having us. All the very best Thanks. to the business. Love that. Yep. yep. Chef Kimani Castle and manager Raheem Allen joining us from Relish. Place looks nice. The devil is a liar. The devil. Hiya! 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 Hiya!